Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's your man Pristine back with another video. Welcome to the Pristine review for the Elephone P8. Now, I've had just a little bit of time with this device. Um, you know, I was uh, selected in a program uh, by J. Will. Um, if you guys, I'm sure you guys know who he is. If you don't, definitely want to check out his channel. Uh, his channel. Big shout out to J. Will. Um, there's a program that he started um, about a week, week and a half. Uh, maybe two close to two weeks ago um wanting to help um gain recognition for um for youtubers that had under or that have under 10,000 subscribers and um i just recently a day or two ago hit the 2,000 subscriber mark so much love to all of my subscribers i appreciate all of you that have been rocking with me um now i've, I've had a few um a little bit of dialogue between Jay Will and I um, from the time that I started this channel on up to this point, which was about a year and five months ago. And, um, you know, I reached out and I told him that I thought the, pro the, the program was an excellent idea. And fortunately, he chose me to be the first uh, the first YouTuber uh, who had under 10,000 subs to send this device. Um, and so, you know, I appreciate the opportunity again you know, it's an opportunity to gain some recognition for a lot of the YouTubers out there that are really passionate about this thing that have under 10,000 subscribers. And so I appreciate um, Jay Will's, you know, um, support. You know, um, he's doing big things in the YouTube community and I, I look forward to, to, to being where he is possibly someday. Um, <clears throat> so um, again, big shout out to Jay Will for uh, providing me with this review unit here. This is the pristine review for the Elephone P8. Now, First off, I want to talk just really quickly. You guys already know I go down the spec sheet and, you know, there's a, a specific list in which I like to cover in my review and I'll try to keep this thing short and sweet. Now, first off, price and specs. Now, you can get this device at one at the $199 price point. You can get it from GearBest. Um, links are in the description, you know, for all the reviews that I've done in this phone, including this one. So if this phone is definitely something that you're interested in, then you can head on over to GearBest or AliExpress.com. You know, I'll leave a link in the description for that as well. Um, and you can pick that up. Now, I think on AliExpress, it's just a tap, maybe $20 or $30 more because this is a 4 gig variant. There's also a 6 gigabyte variant. Okay. So the spec sheet really quickly, um, we've got the Helio P25 um, uh, octa-core processor. Uh, we've got... Uh, 4 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of onboard storage, and as I mentioned, um, there is a 6, gigs of, a 6 gig of RAM and 128 gig of storage version. Um, and it's interesting, they're not both sold at GearBest. So you can get the 4 gig of RAM variant on GearBest.com, but then you can get the 6 gig of RAM variant at Ali, it's, uh, AliExpress.com. Um, <clears throat> both of these sites are too huge shopping sites i mean you can get electronics you can get just about everything you know it's just like another amazon um you you order a lot of products in in all kind of different categories and you know have them delivered there's a lot of crazy deals and things out there so definitely check out those sites man you guys may be able to pick up some um some really good stuff for some really really good prices all right um now the build quality in this device i mean this Obviously, this falls under the budget category because of the price, but the build, nonetheless, is absolutely amazing. Um, we've got a full aluminum or metal unibody design. Um, this feels nice and sturdy. Premium materials for sure. It's got that matte black finish. It feels really good in the hand. If you take a look at it from the back, you can see how it's somewhat of a curve in the back, and then it rounds out about the sides on over to the front where you've got that 2.5D curved glass. Um, and so it feels really good in the hand. I like the fact that the edges, they're not sharp like a Sony device, although I am a fan of Sony devices, you know, they're not like a sharp on the edge. They're rounded a little bit so that when you're holding the device for extensive periods of time, then it's just not going to gouge into the palm of your hand and create an uncomfortable print right here. Okay. So now keep in mind, I mean, the fact that this phone is a metal unibody, it's got a little bit of heft to it. This is a 5.5 inch display, um, full HD panel. And, um, you know, again, I mean, it, it's, you know, 
it's just about as heavy as any other device, I guess, you know, that's had that that's had a unibody, uh, a full metal unibody display and build. Um, it actually is very reminiscent to me uh, of the, uh, the, the Huawei Mate 9. And those of you that have handled that device, I mean, this is what this phone puts me in the mind of. Um, obviously, the Mate 9 being a much, much more premium device than this device here. Um, but it's also in a different price bracket as well. I mean, that's 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 a flagship. But I mean, the way this what I'm saying is the way this device feels, it's flagship territory with the overall build quality and the materials that was used to put this thing together. I mean, so definitely um, very good build quality here. Um, you know. I'm all about respecting the tech. I mean, so if you do decide to go this route, I would always recommend a case, a screen protector. It doesn't really matter how good the build is. You want to protect your investment, you know. So whether you paid $100, $200, or $1,000 for your device, it's something that, you know, it, it, you're going to get intimate with it. You know what I mean? It's going to be very interpersonal. You're going to have a lot of your personal information in it, pictures, photos. If it's got NFC, debit card information, passport, all that kind of thing. So, you know, you want to make sure that you're protecting your investment, Okay. Now, moving along to the performance. Now, you know, it's interesting because, you know, this gave me an opportunity to learn a little something. And, you know, I, I love to take in information. Now, most of the devices that I've rocked with, they've all had Snapdragon processors. I think maybe with the exception of one or two. Not really, you know, I don't want to say I'm not too familiar with the Helio, um, <clears throat> with the Helio processors. Um, Yeah, yeah, I, I don't have much familiarity with the MediaTek processors just because most of the devices they've all had snap tracking processors. But it's not to say that if it's got a MediaTek chip in it, that it's a bad device. And I think some people, they've got a little bit of a misconception about MediaTek. A lot of times they're compared to Snapdragon. And so people feel as though, oh, well, you know, if it's not a Snapdragon processor, then you can't really expect to have good performance. And I don't really find that to be true. You know, I mean, if you if you, if you you get online, I mean, just go to Google and, and type up, you know, MediaTek processors versus Snapdragon processors. And it'll give you a very itemized, detailed description of the differences and a lot of the differences some of them are really clear others are not you know what i mean but from a performance standpoint and the the heat the the mediatek helio p25 is actually one of mediatek's newer processors and so i'd say that this processor is like right on par with the snapdragon 625 snapdragon 630 or the 626 right around that and you already know i mean those give outstanding performance outstanding battery life and i feel like the mediatek p25 here is really no different now Unfortunately for me, because of where I'm at, I live in Seattle, Washington. This is a, um, a, a Chinese international device, and I don't believe that it supports the bands that I need to. Oh, well, now I'm picking up a signal. Let's see. Okay, so actually, it, it actually it, it takes a little bit for it to pop up, but you can see where my network is. There's an E right there, which stands for Edge, and basically, it's like a two. It's like a faster version of 2G network. So basically, Edge is just like a a a. a, a it's like 2.5G, you know what I mean? It's just like a like 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 a, a a quick step above 2G, and so that's really the only type. Of, of data that I can pick up with this particular device. And so obviously this device doesn't support the bands, you know, that I need for T-Mobile. Um, it's GSM unlocked. And so, um, you know, using the device is kind of spotty, you know, but obviously, you know, if I've got Wi-Fi, then that's not a problem. You know, I'm, con I'm connected to my Wi-Fi, five gigahertz band network. And, you know, with that, everything just works nice and fine. I mean, you can see I'll go into my Bible app right here. We'll get that to sync up really quickly and, you know, go ahead and uh, go ahead and read that, that, that verse of the day, you know, get that up in you. Okay. And let's see, go to Google. Oops, my bad. And you can see just scrolling up and down on Google is a breeze. We'll go on to Spotify. Okay, there's Spotify there, SoundCloud, okay, App Store, as I mentioned, the App Store is present, and it just pops right on up, and, you know, occasionally, I mean, you, you, you do experience, you know, you know, a little bit of a stutter, a little bit of a lag here if you're doing multiple things at once, depending on what you're doing, you know, um, 
you know, for some of the more power hungry applications that you may run, I mean, you can definitely expect, you know, a bit of a stutter, especially, you know, if you're not connected to Wi-Fi, you're just running on uh, on that edge connected network, then you're definitely going to know you're going to notice slower speeds than what you may typically have in the area in which you are so that's why it's important to if you decide to go with this phone you definitely want to check the compatible bands to see if it's compatible with the networks in which you live all right but aside from that i mean you know performance performance has been fine i mean it's it's been you know it performs exactly as it should um considering you know the uh the, the networks in which it's able to pick up okay um now the cameras I am completely impressed by the cameras and I won't say too much about the cameras because I've done a dedicated video that is specifically talking about the camera so there's still shots that were taken and captured there's video footage from the front and the rear camera that was captured and taken I do have to say we've got a 16 megapixel selfie cam on the front and then we've got a 20 a 21 uh, megapixel uh, Sony IMX sensor on the back and they are good so go ahead and check out uh, the camera video for this device it's called elephone p8 forward slash the camera you, you guys already know man i keep my camera videos extremely simple with these things and uh you know check out that footage and let me know what you guys think about those all right now moving around to the battery life um now the camera on this bad boy sits at 3600 milliamps okay um that is a non-removable cell and expect to get all day battery life with 3600 milliamps now again that's dependent on how you use your device i mean you know you're definitely going to drain it faster you know if you're power hungry and you know you're you're streaming movies and downloading music and just you know streaming shows and just all that type of thing you know but i mean if you're just a moderate or a light user then the battery is definitely definitely going to last you all day with absolutely no problems whatsoever okay Yeah, pardon me. So uh, battery life, you know, you should definitely expect to get a full day's worth of use. And that should also carry you over until the next day, um, depending on how you use your device. I mean, you know, 3,600 milliamps, you know, you know, I like to round up. I mean, it's not quite a 4,000 milliamp hour battery, but it's kind of getting up in that particular territory. Again, this is a 5.5 inch device. Um, you've got a full HD display here. Um, and so there's just, you know, there's not a lot of stuff. Well, well you can definitely kill the battery. Again, it's just totally dependent on how you use your device. But like for somebody like me that is more of a light to moderate user, yeah, I mean, battery life for me is absolutely stellar on this particular device. All right. Now, additional features. I mean, this this phone, now this phone is different. You know, again, this is probably one of my one of my first like real deal, you know, Chinese um Asian marketed device um and i hear a lot about a lot of these devices but i've never actually featured them on the channel and so again you know much love to my, my man jay will for sending me this review unit um but this device is it's interesting because it does it does things a little differently i mean you know it's an android device but it's not your conventional android device and here's what i'm talking about so like with the buttons here you've got you see we've got back home and recents right well it's backwards so if you press on recents and hold, that's going to bring up Google now. Okay. You'll notice when you, when you tap on it, it brings you to the screen where you can adjust the wallpapers or add widgets. And, you know, you can choose which one of the pages you want to be your homepage. Okay. Now to get to your recents, you actually long press on the home button and this is all your recents and you can see the applications that are open it's got good RAM management okay go back into the camera there just take a second to reload now the other thing too is when you're in an app and you hit the recents button then it brings you to your settings in that particular app Okay. And so, you know, just with the button placement, you know, things, you know, the, the, it has the same buttons, but the, the function of those buttons are completely different. 
Okay, now when you hold down on the back button, nothing happens. And so this is just used for its conventional usage, you know, as you know, like we're used to on any other Android device. But the back, uh, the home and the recents button are where some of those differences lie. Now, so, you know, that's a little bit of a twist, you know, and, you know, to some, it may be a bit of a learning curve. I know it was a learning curve for me because I was sitting there pushing these buttons, expecting for similar functions to take place as they would on another Android device and they weren't happening. And so I had to, you know, I had to figure it out like, man, what's going on with this joint? Um, so, you know, it's a little different spin. I don't want to say I don't like it. You know, it's just different. And I like different. You know what I mean? You know, it just kind of switches things up a little bit. Now, the other thing that I liked is I like the fact that there is a dedicated mute button right here, just kind of like what you'll find on uh, what you'll find on OnePlus devices. So you just switch that up, and you'll see you'll only get alarms only. Okay, click it back down, and now your ringer is back on. That's extremely convenient. You know, if your phone if the phone is in your pocket and you're somewhere where you don't want the ringer or the notification sounds going off, I mean it's simple. You know, it's the little button right here that's right above the. Um, the, uh, the volume rocker up and down, there's some texture to it. And so you definitely can distinguish between which buttons you are pushing and the buttons, you know, they're nice and clicky, nice and tactile. I mean, they don't feel cheap. Like they're pieces of plastic just shoved in there. I mean, the buttons, you know, are, have that, have that solid firm metal feel just like the device does. And so, um, I like that, you know, we got a fingerprint sensor here. And as I mentioned, we do have the ability to take away the capacitive buttons right there just kind of what you would find on mobile devices how you can use just like one you know one finger gestures to navigate the device well you can do that on this device as well and so rather than having the the the, the capacitive keys on the screen you can have those removed be able to take full advantage of the full 5.5 inches here and then just navigate the device with the home button that's right here okay and a uh, fingerprint sensor rather but it can be used for gestures as well Okay, so that's a pretty solid feature as well. And, you know, considering that, you know, a lot of the Moto devices, I mean, they they have that. I know my Moto, uh, Moto X4 has that feature, but I think those devices may be a little bit more pricier than this device. Again, you got to remember, man, this is $199. You know what I mean? So I feel like you're getting a lot of phone for $199 here. Bluetooth 4.1. Um, like I mentioned, the fingerprint sensor excellent cameras. Yeah, I'd have to say that this is a solid, solid package. And so my final thoughts of this particular device, um, you know, it's a little bit of a different spin, but I like it. You know, this is my first Chinese phone that I've, that I've reviewed. Again, shout out to Jay Will. But again, I mean, I'm, too, I'm, I'm dialed in with GearBest and a couple of other sites where a lot of these devices are accessible. Um, so expect to see more devices like this to come on my channel, man. So that's all I've got, ladies and gentlemen for the Elephone P8. Thank you for tuning in to my full pristine review of this device. If you like this video, be sure to click that thumbs up button. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to expose yourself to tons of videos that I've done like this one. And definitely stay tuned for much more content to come. We're just getting started in 2018. Very exciting. There's so many devices that are coming out that I'm going to have featured here on the channel. I can't wait to get these devices, get this information to you guys, and help you guys really make an informed decision on what your next smartphone purchase may be. All right. So until the next video, y'all, you guys already know. Please stay safe. Get spiritually fit with Christ. We're definitely living in the last days. I'm not going to preach to you. That's all I'm going to say about that. And keep it pristine in every aspect of your lives. Thank you for tuning in and we'll catch you guys in the next video. All right. All right. Peace.